Sure, it's my pleasure. I was the PI of the Azalea Timmy 71 trial, and we studied abilacemab, which is a monoclonal antibody to a factor 11, uh, against rivaroxaban, which is a standard of care DOAC, in patients with atrial fibrillation who are at moderate to high risk of stroke. The design of the trial was really to evaluate the bleeding profile of abilacemab compared with rivaroxaban, because we, although we know that the DOACs, like rivaroxaban, are effective and have low rates of serious or life-threatening bleeding, important bleeding still occurs, and that leads to significant undertreatment of patients. And factor 11 inhibitors have really become our most promising new class of anticoagulants because we think that their bleeding will be far less than the DOACs. And this trial really cemented the safety of apalacimab and factor 11 inhibition. We studied two doses of apalacimab, 150 milligrams sub-Q monthly, and 90 milligrams sub-Q monthly, compared to rivaroxaban standard of care at a dose of 20 milligrams daily. And we were delighted when we were informed that our data safety monitoring committee actually recommended that the trial end early uh, before it was destined to end because of an overwhelming and highly significant advantage in bleeding. I think my key clinical takeaways is that abilacemab potently inhibits factor 11. It does what we thought it would do. And it's remarkably safe that even with that potent inhibition, there was incredibly low rates of bleeding, basically reducing bleeding in general by 67%, bleeding that leads to hospitalization by 74%, and almost eliminating gastrointestinal bleeding, the most common type of bleeding we see in clinical practice with atrial fibrillation. And that should provide tremendous reassurance to patients and providers, because we know that bleeding or the fear of bleeding drives under treatment of patients and they don't get the enormous protection from stroke that we need them to have from blood thinners. And so this really allows us to turn our attention to the phase three trials that are ongoing with abilacemab. There are two in cancer associated VTE, which is incredibly important to show that these drugs are as effective and safe in reducing cancer associated venous thromboembolism. And it's my pleasure to lead the lilac timmy 76 trial, which is investigating abilacemab 150 milligrams in very high-risk atrial fibrillation patients, patients who have been deemed ineligible for current anticoagulation. They're so high risk, particularly of bleeding, that the physician and the patients and their families don't think they can safely take our standard of care DOACs. And so we think that this will really address an unmet need. Can we offer anticoagulant abilacemab because it's so incredibly safe to even our most vulnerable patients. And so we're very excited to look forward to those results in the next coming years with these ongoing phase three trials.